Hello kids, time now for another Sunday School lesson. I'm Mr. Randy, do you remember me? I feel like it's been a long time. I hope we can be together again soon. Hey, do you know what this weekend is? This is the weekend that we celebrate, that's right, Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to you and all those you love. Well, we're going to be reading in the Bible about a father. He had two sons. So we're going to be in Luke chapter 15. Go grab your Bibles. Okay, open your Bible to Luke. Kids, does your Bible do that when you open it? Well, mine does. Did you know that the Bible is sharper than any two-edged sword? And it can cut your bone open and divide out your bone marrow from your bone. That's how sharp it is. Pretty cool, huh? The Bible says there was a man who had two sons. This guy and that guy. And the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the share of property that's coming to me. Now, do you know what they're talking about there, kids? The son was asking for his inheritance early. Do you know what an inheritance is? Inheritance is when somebody dies and all their stuff, their property, their money, it goes to somebody else. So the younger son was saying, Dad, I know you're not dead yet, but would it be okay if I had the money that I got coming to me? Not many days later, the younger son gathered all he had and took a journey into a far country. And there, that's right kids, he squandered his property in reckless living. Before he left, the father gave his son some advice. And when he had spent everything, a severe famine arose in that country, 
and he began to be in need. So he went and hired himself out to one of the citizens of that country, who sent him into his fields to feed the pigs. And he was longing to be fed with just the pods that the pigs ate, and no one gave him anything. Did you want to buy any more deck sticks? Hmm. I'm out of money. You don't have any more money? Mm. Let's go, guys. Yeah, let's yeah. get out of here. Huh. No more money. Anyone home? Hey, get out of my house. We eating dinner. Can I have some? No. Get out. You know me? I never. What do you want? We're eating dinner. Can I have some too? No. no. Go home. What do you want? But when he came to himself, he said, How many of my father's hired servants have more than enough bread? But I, I'm perishing here with hunger. I will arise and go to my father, and I'll say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you. I'm no longer worthy to be called your son. Just treat me as one of your hired servants. And he arose and came to his father. But while he was still a long way off, his father saw him and felt compassion and ran and embraced him and kissed him. You in heaven, I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Bring quickly the best robe and put it on him and put a ring on his finger. Put shoes on his feet. And go and kill the fatted calf and let's eat it. <laughs> For this my son was lost and is found again was dead and is now alive. Now his older son was in the field, and as he came and drew near to the house, he heard music and dancing. And he called one of the servants over and said, But he was angry, and he refused to go in. His father came out and entreated him. For the many years I've served you, you've never let me go to the Tasha station to pick up the power converters. Son, you are always with me, and all that is mine is yours. It was fitting to celebrate and be glad. For this your brother was dead and is alive. He was lost but now he's found. Kids, which one of those boys are you most like? Are you like that boy who likes to have all the fun? Or are you like the second boy, the older son, who never ever does anything wrong? Well, I think we can all be a little bit like each one of those boys, don't you? The truth is, both of those boys desperately needs the Father in Heaven, just like all of us. The important thing here to remember is the Father in Heaven loves you so much. He's always ready to rescue you in your time of need. Can we thank Him together today on this Father's Day weekend? Let's pray. Father in Heaven, thank you so much that you love us all the time. Lord, no matter when we mess up or when we obey, 
You love us with an everlasting love. We honor you today on this Father's Day. You're a good, good Father. In Jesus' name, amen. See you next time, kids.